All right, we're back for some more Pokemon Sun, and now we're gonna catch some Pokemon. And so after recording that first episode, I actually realized that the rendered footage actually looks a lot better than when I'm actually recording, which is kind of odd, but that's how it is. All right, let's catch this pick a -peck. I actually really like pick a -peck. It was actually very useful for me when I, uh, especially near the end game. So I'm gonna catch it again. Wait, was that a critical? Yep, no, it wasn't. Now, what I really like about this game is when you're catching Pokemon, and like maybe it only do this one. No, it does. It says it shows you how many evolutions that that Pokemon has. And the best thing is, is that when you cat when you complete the evolution line, it will tell you that you've completed a page in the Pokédex and congratulations or whatever. So it gives you like little like. Uh, it, it's actually more. Uh, how how should I how should I uh, say this? It's more rewarding in a sense because they actually mention that you're completing the Pokédex as you're catching Pokémon. Uh, what should I call Pick a Peck? I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. I can't think of a name for this guy. So if you guys think of a name for him, because I will be using Pick a Peck on my team. So we caught Pick a Peck, and there's Yongoose. So Yongoose, I don't remember what type he is. I think he's normal. And there we go, Young Goose caught. Supposedly we can still we can find Rattata here still, so Young Goose with the sharp fangs, it will bite anything. It did not originally live in Alola, but was imported from another region. Oh, that's very interesting. They're already alluding to another game. One more, they're more likely referencing a real life counterpart to Young Goose, but. Whatever. Ah, there's Caterpie. If I use Ember, it's probably gonna kill the thing, so let's just use Scratch and hope I don't kill it. See, there's one, two, three, four, five, six Pokemon in this route that we can catch, and this should be the third one. So after this, we'll need to catch three more Pokemon. Assuming I don't run out of Pokeballs, of course. So I'll be pretty much having a full team throughout the entire game because I'll be constantly catching Pokemon, but that doesn't mean I'll be, uh, what is it? I won't be, uh, I won't be using them though, unless I want, like, a death fodder or just want to throw one in as a sacrifice. Anyway, Caterpie. When attacked by bird Pokemon, it resists by releasing a terrifically strong order from its antenna, but it often becomes their prey. Well, that's depressing. I'm missing a few Pokemon. Hmm. 
Oh, I should be mentioning from here on out, I'll will be, uh... Uh, what is it? Editing out... Stuff like this until I find actually find the next Pokemon I'm looking for. So, uh, I'll see you guys when that happens. We're back, and uh, I found a ladybug. Surprised I found this and not the uh, old Rattata, because that has a higher uh, rate of being found. Please don't kill it. Okay, thank God. Yeah, but once you actually get um, Rotom in your Pokédex, he'll actually tell you the percentage of how m of all the Pokémon you've caught in an island. So whether you caught 30%, 10% of all the Pokémon that can be found there. I think that's just a nice touch. Leba Registered. They are timid and grow uneasy when not in swarm with others of their kind. The pattern on their backs differ slightly from one another. I wonder if that's actually true, or is that just like flavor text? Because I know for spin uh, that's true. Um. Well, either way, back to finding more Pokemon. We're missing. What? Well, we're missing Rattata and Spinarak. Alright, we're back. I tried finding uh, the Rattata and Spinarak, but I just couldn't encounter them after doing this for quite a while. So that makes me think they're version exclusive? But I, I don't think Spinarak is though, because I recall catch, I recall seeing Ladybug and Moon. I don't remember if I saw Rattata or Young Goose here though in Moon. Because I know you can catch the other version of the... I know you can catch... Uh, what is it? Young Goose and Moon. Not Young Goose. Gumshoes and Moon. But I don't remember if you could catch, uh. uh young, uh, young, uh, Young Goose. Or if it was just a little Rattata here. I don't think there was just a little Rattata. I recall there being Young Goose here, but maybe. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong. Either way, there's another area where we can hopefully encounter some. Ellen Rattatas. So, uh, we'll see. Because it doesn't say here that they're version exclusive, but I can't find them, so. Basically, I'm gonna try to catch as many as I can, but I won't worry about it too much. If I need to move on, I'll move on. Hey, look, it's a trainer. So essentially, unlike previous games where they walk up to you, if they see you, they'll just battle you no matter where you are. So first Pokemon battle against Youngster Jimmy. I think there is another Youngster Joey in this game somewhere. But I don't think he has uh, an Alolan... This guy has an Alolan Rattata, so he's the equivalent of Youngster with Joey, right? Top percentage Rattata. I'm just using Pick a Pack so I can gain some levels. That's it. I think I'm getting it to level 6, and then I'll switch back to uh, Axel there.
No, I'm, I'm just gonna be saving frequently because that stream crash seems to happen when I've been recording for a long time. And uh, in case that does happen again, well, I won't be far off from when the stream crashes. I guess you guys want to see this. Uh, I suppose it's not overly important, but uh, I'll do this anyway. For battles anyway, so you guys have a better idea of what I'm actually doing. So it isn't... So you aren't completely in the dark. Keep missing that first line. My Pokemon. Okay. Hooray, another Pokeball. Is there ever a little hat in here? Gosh, right. Of course there isn't. Can't go there yet. Actually, won't be able to get over there for quite a while. Can we go down here, or is yeah that festival? I think they'll actually heal up your Pokemon for you, if I remember correctly. So I don't think that's anything we need to worry about too much. Is this still considered Route 1? Looks like it. Oh, well, let's see if we can catch that Ladybug army out here. Not Ladybug. Spinarak, but uh... If only I said Spinarak, maybe the game would have given it to me. Hmm. This is a different area because apparently we can only... Is this the... No, Ladybug shouldn't be up to level 4, actually. So this isn't in the... This data isn't correct. Because the data says the max Pokemon should be on Route 1 is level 3, and that was level 4. So that's clearly incorrect. I'm not entirely too sure about the accuracy of the information here. Although, this could be considered a different area, but I didn't get a new notification, though. No, this is definitely a different area. Uh, do you guys it should survive one, I think. Yes. So where's this? Nope, that this isn't it. I have no idea. Okay. Well, that's nice to know. Because this is about one, right? Metapod registered. Its shell is filled with soft with its soft innards. It doesn't move much because it of the risk it might carelessly spill its innards out. Wow. Again, 
not really the greatest thing to know. Okay, let me see. Did it? Did it? No, this is still Route One. So yeah, the data isn't isn't fully put into the. All right, into the what's I'm using the Pokemon database, PokemonDB.net. So that's wrong. We're not wrong, just not completed yet. So that's nice to know. I'll see you. I'll check for a few mo more Pokemon here, and if I don't find anything, then that'll be that. Uh, let me switch to... So you can find completely different Pokemon on the same patch of grass on different... Uh, no, you can find completely different Pokemon on different patches of grass on the same route. Alright, that's right. Yeah, that's very interesting. <sighs> I think it can survive an Ember, I hope. It's a baby Pokemon, so it might be too weak. Nope. I'm paralyzed though. Alright, this is very, very interesting. Pichu registered. It is not yet skilled at, at controlling electricity. If you take your eyes off it, it may shock itself. Well, that's nice. No. So here's an interesting thing here. You can actually add Pokemon to your party and send something to send it to, and send another Pokemon to the box. Which I like pretty much. I know you can catch another version of Young Goose. You can catch Young Goose's evolved form later, so I'll just put in Pichu here for now. Let's do two more encounters here and then I'll continue forward. Wish it's something to heal the paralysis of my of Axel. Let's see, one more encounter, and then we'll be moving on. Alright. We'll check the other piece of grass. Patch of grass. To the left here. And then uh, we'll move on. I think they're going to heal our Pokemon before we... Because uh... I think we're going to do another Pokemon battle with how. Oliver, huh? Should mention that at first, if you want, you should probably keep any normal type moves that Pokemon has. Physical normal type moves. Just for now. Because, um, we'll be getting Z moves. And, uh, it'll be easier to explain what they are when they actually come up. I'm sure most of you already know what they are, but for those who don't, just hold on a bit. And, well, we don't want to say... We'll be only be we'll only be able to use uh, normal type Z moves for a little bit, so that's why I recommend keeping any normal type moves your Pokemon may have for just a bit until you get uh, more Z moves for them. I 
I think my rule will be for encountering new Pokemon is three encounters per patch of grass. If I don't see anything new, if I see any something new, that counter will reset. I think that'll be the best thing to do it, so I don't just uh, just not here for a very long time. All right. One more. All right, there's nothing new here. I want to uh, Axel out because how from now on he'll be leading off with his uh, he's gonna have a Pichu next I believe and he'll be leading off with it and its evolutions um, from now on hey Actually, I'm not sure how it has the Pichu yet. We'll see. Ooh. Nope. Apparently. Thank you for doing that. They're, they're very generous with that. Sometimes they'll do it without you even knowing. It's usually during important events is where they'll hear Pokemon after each battle. Generally. Not, oh. Yeah, I'm ready. Well, that's what I've noticed when I was playing through the game, anyway. Time for another battle with Hao. Hao? I'm gonna call him Hao. Even though that might be wrong. So yes, he leads out with Pichu. And so far we don't have any real ways to easily deal with Pichu, but Pichu is a weak Pokemon to be honest, so we shouldn't really have a problem with it. We might get paralyzed, but that's the worst that'll happen. Keep Axel in. But let's send Pick a Peck out so he can gain some experience. Because Pick a Peck is very interesting in that he can actually learn some fighting type moves. So it is very useful type coverage. Sounds like Pick a Peck is bouncing his head to the music. Alright, one more hit should do it.
And there we go. There's a Pikachu there. So we get our Z ring. Yeah, Z ring. Even though it's more like a, a bracelet. Whatever. Hmm. Maybe. All right. So yes, well, instead of going through gyms, we'll be going through a series of challenges, which are quite different than the gyms. They could be considered easier in some aspects, but the final battle with the totem Pokemon aren't necessarily easy at all. It all depends on your team composition though, but now that I have a, uh, basically, I'm going to have a full team of Pokemon from now on, it, I don't think it'll be too hard to deal with those Pokemon. Me too. See ya. Meow, that's right. Sorry. I just can't help myself when I look at that Meowth. From this angle, it looks like one of Meowth's eyes is bigger than the other. 